Hi everyone, it's Nabil. Um, giving you an update today. Uh, I don't know the date. Is it 18th, 19th, 20th? March 20th, I think. Um, uh, it's been a pretty rough few weeks. Um, I think I updated you about a week and a half ago. Um, the radiation treatment got worse uh, and worse uh, as far as side effects were concerned um, to the point where um, it was really really difficult to eat much of anything um, uh, the past few days I've been waking up in the morning um, with uh, some pretty bad nausea some vomiting um, I really uh, feel for you expectant mothers now <laughs> to wake up with um, morning sickness um, I wake up with that pretty much every morning now. Um, <clears throat> it's been um, it's been really hard to uh, get my calories, um, and so I've been losing a bit of weight, not too much, thankfully. Um, so I've been uh, on the worst day. I was um, about seven hundred something calories short for the day. Um, so not as bad as it could be. Um, my, my doctor told me when I came in for my weekly checkup, uh, you know, after I'm explaining to him, yeah, I just had a bunch of dry heaves in the hallway and um, I haven't been able to eat too much, but I've gotten some down. Um, he looked at me and he said, well, frankly, compared to most people who are in your situation, you've sailed through radiation. Um, so a uh, perspective check. Um, he was telling me that a lot of people who have my condition are often in the hospital with the J tube, um, with a, a tube feeding food directly into their intestines. Um, and uh, he said that the fact that I can keep food down, even if it's not that much, but it's still some, and the fact that I can stay hydrated uh, means I'm doing far better than most. Um, so definitely something to rejoice over, definitely a perspective check. And that's what I would say um, I've learned the most in the past few weeks uh, has been um, perspective. Um, I'll just be sitting down trying to eat food and sometimes I'll have uh, a roaring appetite. Uh, not Sometimes I won't have any appetite at all. Sometimes I'll have a roaring appetite but can't eat. Um, and so I'll be really really hungry, my stomach is grumbling, um, and I'm just looking at the food and uh, because of the nausea or for whatever reason I just can't eat it. Um, and then I'll, you know, take a look around and see people just, you know, happily taking a bite of their food as if it were no big deal. <laughs> uh, or just, you know, taking a drink of water, uh, not having to worry that they, they might vomit. Um, and uh, that's been a perspective check for me. I, I wouldn't say that I've gotten bitter. Um, maybe once or twice I kind of, the thought crossed my mind, like, do you realize what you have? Um, and so maybe once or twice uh, my, my thoughts have tended towards a, uh, a, more, a more bitter side, but generally not. Generally, um, I, I would just say that uh, it's just been a lot of prayer to get through, um, a lot of just asking God to help, um, trusting in Him. And I find in times like that, that um, it really helps to start thanking God for what is working um, so you know the fact that I can still of course the fact that I'm not in the hospital I don't have a J tube um, the fact that I'm not being um, fed food directly um, into my intestines the fact that I can still drive around walk around uh, and like that's not a miracle of course it's a miracle the fact that you can walk I mean having to use your muscles which none of which you could make on your own None of which you could, you know, if, if something went wrong with your muscles or say something went wrong with the conductivity in your nerves, like as happens with multiple sclerosis, then you couldn't walk. Um, and yet here I am walking around, um, driving, you know, that requires you to be able to see. It requires you to be able to move your arms and your hands. Uh, it requires, you know, good reaction time, um, especially if you're driving in Houston. <laughs> it requires a good reaction time. Um, and... Um, and yeah, so, you know, just to say, hey, I'm able to drive, I'm able to walk around. I mean, that's inherently miraculous. We get so used to the daily miracles that we, we see them as commonplace. But um, I would say that uh, the fact that, you know, just one of my daily miracles isn't working. Um, the, 
the capacity to eat normally um, has really thrown the rest into sharp relief um, and has uh, taught me to appreciate that which God has given me. Um, and so that's what I've been trying to focus on. It's, it's, and it does help. It really helps to, to focus on what God has given me because otherwise you can end up just shaking your fist at God and you can say, God, why me? Why me? Um, why is this happening? How, you know, and um, aren't you don't, aren't you watching? Don't you love me? Etc. When, <clears throat> frankly, all those thoughts um, are, are so microcosmically focused. Well, I guess microcosmically isn't the right word, but microscopically focused on um, on just the issue at hand uh, when there's so much more. There's so much more that we ought to be grateful for. Um, and so I'm trying to keep my eyes up, keep my chin up, um, and focus on the good that God continues to pour out his lavish love. Um, and just to just trust him because I do believe I'm going to come out of this. I, I do believe it still. Um, I believe that uh, this has been a difficult period. Uh, and frankly, radiation has been the, tough of it, the toughest part of it for me. For some people, chemotherapy is the toughest part. Um, and you know, I haven't gotten to surgery yet. That might be even tougher. Um, but um, come on. I mean, people have it a lot worse than, than I have it. Uh, and I'm not just talking about stomach cancer or, or cancer of any sort or health issues even. You just think about what's happening around the world, um, the kind of atrocities that are happening, the kind of tragedies that people are finding themselves in. Um, and, you know, who am I to complain? I have a house over my head. I have a beautiful wife, a beautiful daughter, parents who, you know, my relationship with them is getting better um, on a regular basis, a loving sister who calls me regularly and checks in on me, friends who come here and pray for me. Um, you know, I've, um, my organization that I was working with, RZIM, who's helping with my health insurance, um, you know, just tremendous, tremendous amount of love and support that I have. Um, and so how could I complain? I can't. And I think anyone who even has a computer to be able to watch this video, um, if, if we just consider what we have, uh, we really can't complain. Um, so thank you so much for your continued prayers. The good news is radiation is over. It just finished. Uh, it takes about uh, a week, a week and a half for the side effects to, to start wearing off and for you to turn the corner. Um, and after that, I plan on doing some traveling. Um, and I haven't really been out of, out of my area in a long time. I went to Waco to, to preach recently, um, and God miraculously showed up um, in order to even sustain me to preach, but also uh, in the message itself. Um, but otherwise, I haven't really left Houston, and in my normal travel schedule, uh, you know, uh, in 2014 and 2013 and 14, um, as we count it, I was on the road 245 days that year. <laughs> so out of 365, I was on the road 245. Um, and then since then, about 100 days a year on the road. And right now I haven't been on the road virtually at all. And so I'm getting a bit stir crazy, um, not for inherently being on the road, but you know, I'm built to minister. I'm, I'm built to travel and to preach the gospel and to speak to people who are hurting, looking for answers. Um, that's what I'm built for and I haven't been able to do any of it. So my doctors have told me that there's no treatment whatsoever from now until May 1st. So that's about six, seven weeks of, of time off. And so I've been graciously invited by Dr. Zacharias to join him um, in Asia. And so I hope to travel there, spend some time with him. We're working on a book together, so I want to spend some time writing that book with him. I'm also going to travel to Southern California to speak um, and uh, at Friends Church, Your Belinda. Um, I might also do some speaking in Northern California. Um, that's yet to be decided. Um, and uh, plan on visiting some family um, while I'm while I'm able. And the the goal is medically speaking that I would be in a good enough place uh, that come May first they will do the scans. There'll be no metastatic sites, and then the surgeon will tell me we'll move on to surgery. Um, and at that point, um, they will take out my stomach and part of my esophagus. And um, hopefully that will be the end of it. No more cancer ever again. Um, of course, 
The rate of success, as, as I have told you in previous videos, is very low, very, very low. Um, 4% of people with stage 4 cancer survive, um, and uh, that includes those diagnosed with stage 4 cancer who make it to surgery. Um, so uh, stage 3 cancer, pretty much all of stomach cancer, pretty much all of whom get their stomachs removed, only 20% of them survive, and they don't even have metastatic sites. Um, and so um, the success rate in the natural is very, very low, um, but I'm not praying for a natural recovery. I'm praying for a supernatural recovery. I'm praying for God to work miraculously. I believe he still heals miraculously. Um, in fact, I've received multiple stories in just the past few weeks of God healing miraculously. And so that's what I'm asking for. Um, and I do believe his will is for healing, but um, whether or not that's what's gonna happen in my specific case, uh, you know, I, I do pray God's will be done. Um, but I do believe his will is for healing, uh, and so I'm praying, I'm standing on the promises of God. Um, his word does say things like, it is the enemy who's come to steal and kill and destroy, but Jesus came that we might have life and life to the full. Uh, the word does say in Matthew 8, 17, he took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Um, Psalm 103 says that God forgives all our iniquity and heals all our diseases. Uh, Jesus didn't turn away anyone who... Uh, asked him for healing, but healed every single person who asked him. Um, and so um, I believe that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and that he will continue to heal. Um, and I know that he continues to heal. I'm just praying that that would be so in my case as well. Standing on those promises, trusting in God, believing it will be true, um, and praying in confidence. So that's, that's where I am. Uh, thank you so much for continuing in prayer. Thanks for watching this. I know this is the 21st video blog, I think, so you've, you've been sticking through for the long haul. Um, God is good. God is tremendously good. And if you're suffering and you're watching this video, maybe you have cancer as well, um, or maybe you have um, been diagnosed with other things, um, or maybe you're suffering of a different sort, may I just encourage you to join me in trusting God, because He is great. He loves you more than you love yourself. Uh, he loves you more than you can ever fathom. Before time began, He loved you and He created you out of a desire of love, a loving relationship with you, and that you might glorify Him through that love for all eternity. Um, and so, I guess I haven't invited you to do this in any of my vlogs, but if you don't know the gospel message, it is this, and that is that God's kingdom is at hand, uh, that Christ has come into this world, that God Himself stepped into this world, to take our sins upon himself, that we might have everlasting life, and that he paid our penalty for us, that we might know him forever, and the penalty being death for our sins. Uh, because the moment you rebel against God, you are saying to God, I prefer my way instead of your way. But God's way is life. He's the one who gave us life. And so when we rebel against him and we sin, we say no to life. But God makes us a way to say yes to life, and that is by faith accepting that which he has done for us. And so I, I implore you, I adjure you <laughs> to accept what Christ has done, come to know him, and in his arms is peace, peace that transcends all understanding, even in the midst of suffering. And he may very well heal supernaturally because he's able to do immeasurably more than all we could ask or imagine. And even today, I know he heals miraculously. So join in this hope with me the hope of God. Uh, accept him if you haven't yet and trust him and rest in him in this season and he will have us grow as we trust him through the suffering. Pray with me now. God, thank you that you've revealed your gospel to us. Angels have longed to look into the mystery of the gospel, Lord, and you've made it revealed to us. God, I pray that you would hear our cries for not just salvation but for healing, Lord. Heal me and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. God, we just pray, believing that you are the God that David prayed to when he said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagle's. God, we believe and we trust you and we ask you to work miraculously. 
And let the healing come, Lord. Yes, we know we will be healed eternally, but let the healing come even now in this life, God, as we trust in you and we rest in you. We praise you, Lord. I ask my brothers and sisters, I ask for them, God, those who are watching this video, that you would give them rest and peace and that you would abundantly bless them for the time they've invested in praying for others, especially in the time they've invested in praying for me, God. And I pray that even as they watch this, their hearts would be filled to overflowing with love and joy. We pray this all in your son Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks. Uh, I hope not to take as long before the next post. Um, I will let you know before I do any of my travels exactly when they will be. Uh, hope to see some of you. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.